Hi, my name is Elizabeth Wagner. I am a hand weaver and a textile designer. Welcome to my channel, Illumination. In my last video, I explained how to thread your warp ends through the reed on your floor loom for a front to back warping. And here is um, the result of my slaying uh, of the reed. Um, and if you remember correctly, in my read, because I have a 6 dent read and I wanted 12 ends per inch, I put two warp ends in each dent. So in every one of my dents I have two warp ends. And so today I wanted to walk to the back of the loom and explain to you how I thread the heddles for the project. Um, but before we start threading heddles, I wanted to give you my explanation for um, how to read a pattern or a draft for weaving. On my loom, there's a back beam and it comes off. Some people have the same thing. Not all looms are like that, but it makes it easier to access the back of your loom. So I'm going to take it off, but I want to show you a um, typical pattern or what a pattern looks like for weaving. And I wrote this out. Um, this is what you might see in a pattern book like Handwoven Magazine or something. The um, horizontal lines on the pattern represent the shafts on your loom. One, two, three, four. Uh, but we're sitting in the back of the loom. So this is actually shaft number four or harness number four. This one is three this one is two and this one closest to where you're going to actually be sitting in the front of the loom is harness number one and on a plain weave or tabby weave which is what we're going to be doing you may see the pattern drawn this way uh, this would represent one warp end going through the first heddle on the first shaft. The next warp end would go through the first heddle on the second shaft, or the next warp end through the first heddle on the third shaft, and the next warp end would go through the first heddle on the fourth shaft. And then the, the uh, threading starts over again. So that's all it is for plain weave. It's just a repeat of one, two, three, and four. The whole way across. Now that's one part of the pattern. What you also have to know is how to tie up the treadles on the bottom of your loom which are right down here. These are the treadles and you can see that they're attached to the bottom of the loom here. These bars across here are called lambs and you can change um, these around. So on mine I have these little they're little um, metal cords with uh, hooks on the end and I could take off uh, take them off of any one of these and put them on another one. So right here I have one of these tie up cords and it's attaching this treadle one, two, three, the third treadle to um, this this uh, lamb here and this one. And this is um, the second shaft or the second harness and this is the first harness. I can change them. I can tie it up to the fourth one or whatever I want to. So the tie up means which treadle you are attaching to which shaft. And in plain weave you want to attach the first treadle to the first shaft and the third shaft. And you want to tie up the second treadle to shaft number two and shaft number four. So that means that every time you press one time on this first treadle, 
it's going to pick up all of the ends on the first shaft and all of the ends on the third shaft. So that would be every other warp end in, on your piece because of the way you have them threaded. When you press on treadle number two, you're going to be picking up every warp end on the second shaft and every warp end on the fourth shaft. And this will just be a total, alternating, even thing. It will be every other warp end, so that will create your plane weave. And then the treadling is just the sequence in which you press on the treadles when you are weaving. So first I'm going to press on treadle number one. It's going to pick up one and three. I'm going to throw my shuttle through. Then I'm going to press on treadle number two it's going to pick up the alternating uh, warp ends on 2 and 4 and then I'm just going to keep going back and forth pressing on those two treadles the whole time and you will wind up with plain weave so if I'm sitting here at the front of the loom weaving on my bench this is the shaft that's closest to me. That's shaft number one, that's shaft two, that's shaft three, and that's shaft four. But since I'm threading the loom from the back, it's actually going to be like this when I'm threading. So because I'm sitting back here right now, the first warp end is going to go through a heddle on harness number four four and then three and then two and then one. So that's kind of how I do um, because I warp from the front to the back and I have to thread the heddles from the rear of the loom it's going to be kind of flipped over so anytime I come to the loom to thread my heddles I always flip the pattern upside down so I can see this is actually that side of the loom, but when I sit in front, it's going to be this way. And I hope that's not too confusing, but I'm going to show you now how I put all of the warp ends through the heddles in that sequence.